Hey guys, John Littlefield here to show you how I tie stinger hooks. And this is the same method I use whether I'm vertical jigging for walleyes or vertical jigging for lake trout. For lake trout, this is what I use. It's a size four round bend treble hook tied on 20 pound mono. For walleyes, it's almost always a size 10 treble and that's 14 pound mono. So the gist of it is the mono is tied to the hook using a Palomar knot and then up here at the end, that is an arbor knot. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, if you want to check out how to make an arbor knot. So here we go. First things first, I'm going to tap the treble hook using a Palomar knot. I like the Palomar knot because it's got two wraps aligned through the eye of the hook, which helps it to hang a little bit straighter. Next, I just like to cut off enough line so that I know I've got enough to work with. And this is the measuring tape I use to measure out my hooks. The length of the finished hook is going to be exactly this long. So in order to do that, I'm going to tie an overhand knot in the line. And that's going to serve as a stopper. So once you pull that stinger hook tight on your jig, that's going to keep your knot from slipping out. And then from here, I'm just going to tie my arbor knot. So there you have it. And then from here, I'm just going to cinch this down on a jig or something. Make sure it pulls tight without slipping. And then snip that off. Don't cut your tag end too short. I like to leave about, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch. Because then you can just pull on that tag end to remove your hook. Just like that. So it's completely removable. Super quick and easy to retie. If you're out on the water, you need to tie more hooks. All you need is a hook and some mono, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.